I'd like to hear your version of the Grandi interview. Uh, what, who else? Yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, I don't know, I, we just, we was real, before it happened, right, we didn't even know we was going to go on there, even on the day. Mm. Right, we was, we was about to set off on this tour, because our single had just come out. And we was rehearsing in this place in Arlesden. Mm. And got this phone call, like, to Matthew Town, oh, great, we've got you on the Today Show, you know. It's going to be really good going there, talk about your single and that, and what's happening, you're going on this tour, mm. then there's a car coming down. A car coming down, and we thought, oh, so we went in there, right? It took us to Tel, or wherever it is, up north, Houston. Yeah. Houston, right, yes. yeah. And uh, we went in there, we just sort of didn't know what was happening, just sat around in this room, there's a few of our friends there, like, yeah, the followers, you know, who were standing at the back, yeah. just chatting to them, we had a drink and that. Didn't get drunk that much. How, how much did you have to drink? Because everybody makes out that. Steve had the most. Yeah. He said the most. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's just talking. You know, we weren't falling about anything. You know, I wasn't. I wasn't drunk at all. Because I remember I, I was really sort of nervous of going on the telly. Yeah. So I was, I was feeling really nervous at the time. I remember that. And. Uh, we went into this little room, I thought it was going to be a great big room because on the telly, it looks messy, there's this little room with all these lights. Mm. They lined us up against this wall like for the beginning of the program. The camera went on and said, sat, said some corny remark like, someone told us after, would you, at the beginning of the program, would you either let your daughter get out of one knee or something? Yeah. Or say it corny, you know. And uh, that was at the beginning. We said, I oh, will be seeing them later in the program. It's sex business. And it come on. And he, he's, I think he was old, he's grunting yeah. himself, he's, he's an horrible bloke. I, mean, I didn't say a word, all this thing, I didn't say one word like, all the way through it. I was just sitting there listening, feeling nervous because this camera was on, these bright lights and everything. Yeah. And I remember he was talking to, Glenn started talking first. And he, he did, we thought he was going to talk about the record and that, you know, the tour. And he went straight into like, you've got all this money, ain't, ain't this rather against your anti-materialistic view of life and that, you know, it's yeah. like putting us down, you know, straight away really, without even getting into an interview. And then uh, it started going, no, oh, thanks, a bit silly, it was a bit drunk, too. you know, then just messing around, and then just went on to John, and it started going all about composers, or say, like real music, you know, yeah. and that, like Beethoven and that, it's like a bit snidey again, you know. And John, John said, oh yeah, they're real heroes of ours or something. They really turn us on. And he said, well what about if they turn other people on? He said, uh, and he says, John just said, that's their tough shit, you know. And you couldn't even hear it. I didn't hear it till yeah. after. You couldn't hear it, because he mumbled it the way he said it. And Bill Grundy said, what? You know, straight away he heard it. And he said, what did you say? John said, nothing, nothing at all, like four letter word, carry on. And he said, no, come on, tell me what was the rude word. And John just said, shit. And then he left there at that, nothing more was said for a while, and he went on to someone at the bank, some girl, you know. <coughs> and uh, that was left at that, that bit. And he goes to his girls, what about you, Beyond? Are you having a laugh, or what are you doing, you know? <coughs> and uh, she said, oh, we're just enjoying ourselves, you know. She goes, I've always wanted to meet you, we're just messing about. He goes, oh, we'll meet after them, you know. Sure, you have a laugh after. And Steve went, oh, you dirty sod, like. <laughs> and he goes, and then it's Jimmy started from there, like. And then he said, he said, what was that, you know, again? He said, you dirty sod. He goes, oh, what a clever boy, come on, you've got ten more seconds or so. Say something outrageous. And Steve just said, you dirty fucker, you dirty fucker. So he said it a couple of times. And that was it. Because all they were so quick, we were just, we got up and just run out laughing, like run out the, straight out of the building into this car, fucked off. <laughs> and the next day, I couldn't believe it, like, all, we me and Steve used to stay in Denmark Street. There's all these reporters knocking on the door, like, going bang, 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 going, what's happening? Going, woke up, like, what's happening? He goes, what the fuck's happening here? He goes, oh, you're saying the papers are going, come what did you do? What happened? They were saying, hey, what's happening? You know, we got to the front of the table and we couldn't believe it. Like, everyone's like, all the 
press we got for that three days, wasn't it? Non-stop. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. Everybody was talking we, about it. We didn't think nothing about it. But I didn't. I forgot about it the same night. You know, I didn't think it was nothing at all. Yeah. But people, they just wouldn't let us alone after that. That was it. <laughs> How did you used to work out ideas? For the, the size of yeah. it. Just in the in the in the rehearsals, so the same mm-hmm. way we do there. Just we go there, just rehearse. And someone's got a song to come up with, and just work out from there. It's the way most of them are really all of them. Did you discuss the kind of um, the content of the songs. I mean, was that a deliberate thing right from the start? Things like anarchy no. and that was was that deliberate, or did it just that just come, come out? Yeah. That just come out as 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 we were writing, you know. Mm. Was there an idea there though to deliberately shock? I mean, no. was that something you were trying to say? No, we didn't go out, say out to do pretty do anything. We didn't say oh, we're going to shock people. Mm. We're going to do this. We said, you know, we're going to fucking give them a kick up the arse, you know, make yeah. them look round and that. We definitely sit down and work it all out and that big concept. We can be well doing, we can just do it, you know. Yeah. It just happens. Because of the way we are, you know. 